If you're overwhelmed, frustrated, and sick and tired of the clutter in your life, maybe it's time to do something about it. In this podcast, the most organized man in America, Andrew Mellon, demystifies how to organize your world. Andrew gives you the keys to stop clutter from robbing you of your precious time, freedom, and joy in your life. Here's your host, Andrew Mellon. (laughs) Welcome to Declutter Your Life. I'm your host, Andrew Mellon. Do you have a junk drawer at home? How about a room or closet dedicated to the things you don't know what to do with? Maybe you have an entire storage unit full of stuff. Understanding why we hold on to so many things will help us begin the process of letting go of the things we're finished with. We hold on to things because of the stories we tell ourselves about those things. There are five major reasons people justify keeping things. Money is the first. When evaluating an item, people will often say to themselves, this cost me a lot of money, or I got a really good deal on this, or I don't want to waste money buying it again in the future. Sentiment is another reason people keep things too long. As humans, we make connections to other people, to animals, and even to things. Many people will assign an emotional value to an item, making it difficult to separate themselves from the object itself. Time is another factor. It's a simple truth. Organizing takes time. Lots of people put off going through their things because the time factor seems too daunting. Often people have a story about entitlement. Many people feel like they work hard and deserve to have fun on their time off instead of taking the time that's required to get and stay organized. And the last reason is responsibility. The final reason people hold on to things is because they feel a sense of responsibility for what happens to the item after they're finished with it. So finding a good home for an item, not trashing the environment, or finding a needy recipient are all reasons people keep things too long. Recognizing these behavioral patterns makes organizing a practical process instead of an emotional one. Now that you know why you hold on to things, you can let go of them more easily. So that's it for today's episode. Be sure to join us here for other episodes of Declutter Your Life. Again, I'm your host, Andrew Mellon. I'll look forward to being with you again real soon. That's it for today's episode. Head on over to iTunes and subscribe to the show. One lucky person every single week that posts a review on iTunes will win a chance in the grand prize drawing to win a $25,000 private VIP day with Andrew Mellon himself. Be sure to go to declutteryourlifeshow.com and pick up a free copy of Andrew's gift. And join us on the next episode.